Hey y'all, so today I am going to do a dorm tour. So here I am showing you what it's like walking up the hill to the dorms. I'm just gonna speed the video up a little bit just because I feel like, you know, it's, it's just walking. I do want to tell you that if you are living at Annam International House, that we are literally at the very top. I think we're the very top dorm like in terms of like the height on the hill and be ready to have a workout and be huffing and puffing while going up the hill because let me tell you it it is very steep oh yeah so halfway up the hill we do have a cu which is a convenience store here and above the cu as you can see is the cafeteria where you can have breakfast lunch and dinner So right here is CJ International House. It is right before the entrance to Annam International House. And here is like a little like entranceway that leads to Annam International House. Okay, so let's get on with the front. So here is like the shoe area. And this is the cabinet where you can store the shoes. It's a fire hydrant right there. And yeah, there's a lot of storage for the shoes. Yeah, I, I didn't bring that many shoes with me just because like, you know, kind of just wear the same pairs every day. Card holder and then a flashlight in case the power goes out. And then the bathroom area. The toilet, as you can see. Yep. And then the shower. I like to keep my soups on the floor. And then there's this thing. I don't recommend opening it because <laughs> it's nothing, nothing useful. And then a mirror. And then a shower head that you can put the shower head here. Like, just take it off. Oh. I just splashed myself with the water. I love that. And then take a shower this way. Oh. Yep. Now I'm covered in water. <gasps> ah. Yeah, and then the sink, obviously. Underneath the sink, not much. And then. The storage, more storage. I have a bunch of um, albums in here. And then up here is for your roommate, but my I don't have a roommate right now. So I'm just putting stuff in here. Then the closet. The closet's nice, it's pretty big, but like I have a lot of, a lot of clothes, so kind of filled up. <laughs> and then space under here. This is where I usually keep like miscellaneous and I keep my shorts in this bottom drawer and jeans and stuff and yeah here is the lights you can turn them on and off you can turn them all off on or just turn a couple off 
Oh yeah, also this is supposed to turn on automatically, but I had a roommate who put a sticker on it. He was really tall, so he was able to do it. So now it doesn't turn on automatically. And then the phone, never used this before. Not sure what it's supposed to do. More storage. As you can see. So you get a bunch of storage. And then guess what? Even more storage underneath here. Yeah. This is where I keep some stuff. This is my snack drawer. And then this is where I keep my socks and undergarments. Yep. And then this is a desk. I'm currently using both sides, but this is my main side. I'll move my stuff eventually when my roommate comes. And then, oh yeah, the window. I usually like to keep this closed just because like, um, I wake up late and usually the sun <laughs> wakes me up, so yeah. Yeah, this is the outside. Oh yeah, also you, you guys can also open this. There's a little garden area that you can go to. Maybe I'll show that later in the video. Yeah. i actually never been there, so might as well. Might as well keep this open. Why not? I need to just close it. Boom. Oh yeah, with the curtains, there's this little thingy where you can just wrap it around and keep it like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, it for the dorm. Dorm is really nice and big. Oh yeah, I keep my suitcases up here, just because it kind of fits perfectly. But maybe your big suitcase might not. But my tiny one did fit really good. But this one was kind of a tight squeeze, so I'd be careful. Also, up here is really dusty, so I suggest grabbing like something and dusting it off before foot putting your stuff on. Yeah. Oh yeah, the thermostat. You can like adjust it. I usually like to keep it low, just because I don't like the heat. And then the, this is the AC, but it won't turn on. It usually turns that on. See, it won't turn on because um, it's still like winter technically. So this will turn on when it gets hotter. And yeah. Um, yeah, there's a socket here. And yeah, I think that's that's it <laughs> for my dorm. Oh yeah. If you are living in Annam International House, I do suggest getting the side that does not have the internet router on it, just because it has, like it's filling up two sockets, right? But with the other side, it only fills up one, as you can see. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but they also give us a little trash can that you can use. Um, but I use, I brought one from Daiso, this like little coffee, coffee trash can it's kind of dirty because i have been using it for a while but yeah okay now let's explore the rest of the facility don't ask me why the lights are turned off because i do not know but yeah they have this little like door at the end of the hallway i'm not sure what it's for though what it's for but yeah i think you can go over here I don't think I'll get locked out. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Real nice area. There's a broom. I don't know why this. Oh, there's a light for the dark. Right here. This is the hallway. This is like a seminar room. This actually has a couch and then Wi Fi. But in the beginning, like in the fall, in the beginning of this fall semester, there were actually nothing in here. This was an empty room. And there was only the water dispenser. I don't know what this is called. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's also an, a an air con or AC here. I don't know what this is. You turn off and on the lights. Oh, yeah, also, that's like. A little, a little net for like safety. Not sure what it's called. Oh, there's a bulletin board or or thingy. This is a lounge room, but no one goes in here just because there's no Wi Fi and there's also no chairs. Also, it's facing directly towards the sun. But you know, I don't think it's a bad area. 
There's also another AC here. Don't want to knock the lights. There's also this little area down here, but I think <laughs> it's just more rooms. I don't know why my crocs make so much noise. <laughs> yep, but now we're leaving to the kitchen. Yeah. Sometimes this door is open, sometimes it's not. Yeah. You can also open these windows. Another wall dispenser, TV. The kitchen also has Wi Fi, so usually people hang out here. It's really nice and spacious. You also get your own locker that's assigned to your room, your roommates, and then yours. But since I don't have a roommate, I just have it filled. But sometimes your roommate doesn't use it, so you just gotta ask. And over here, you can see we have a toaster. Well, two toasters. Yep, and two broken microwaves. And a broken toaster. Don't tell me how these ended up breaking over the fall. We ended up, the fall semester students, we ended up breaking, not we, I didn't participate. They ended up breaking two microwaves and a toaster. Nice. <laughs> and this is the trash can. Currently there's not that much things in it. And then the fridges. Each fridge has an assigned floor. And yeah. Right now it's not filled, but usually the fridge is full because people like keep a lot of stuff in here. And then the freezer. This is usually like empty because no one uses the freezer. Yeah. And then the kitchen. Yeah. The microwave. Make sure you guys don't close the microwaves. Just because they told us not to when it breaks it if you do close it. And the stoves. And then the storage underneath. I'm pretty sure the stuff underneath here is like pretty old from students that left it here over the semester. Because there's like when you open every cabinet, there's just stuff in here. I don't recommend storing stuff in here though, just because they can get stolen. I remember my friend, she had a fork like in the, one of the cabinets and then someone took it and she was like, dang. But yeah, there's a lot of storage. So if you guys do want to store stuff in here, you probably could. Fire extinguisher. Also, I do want to see that TV. I don't think it turns on. I think it's supposed to, but it doesn't. I have never seen it on before. Also, I think I might be unplugged. That might be why. Oh, yeah, you can also control the lights in here. But I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> okay, so this is the delivery room, or like the package room where you pick up your packages. There's a whole bunch of umbrellas here. In the corner. I'm not sure if you can use them, but I'm pretty sure people left them over here from like the donation bins. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and then there's a vending machine here. Yep. And I think these packages are just like bedding, probably bedding. Yep. I think that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there are two computers here and a printer. But I've never used these before, so I'm not sure how they work. Oh yeah, also there's Wi-Fi in the lobby. Right here. <laughs> Which is pretty neat. And then the map. And then the information board. Hey, 
Okay, so for this elevator, it's supposed to be um, for professors and for male students to go down. Since that elevator over there is for boys only, but that one only goes to the second floor, it doesn't go to the basement where the laundry room is, as you can see. Also, the first and second floor is where um, boys live, but the first floor, it's mixed gender, so girls can actually live on the first floor too. Yeah, it's like a parking garage down here. It's nice. There's six laundry machines, six washing machines, and then there's instructions on how to do everything. And then there's only five dryers though, which I'm just like, oh, interesting. And then this trash can is for like lint and stuff. Um, so for this machine, it's like cash only, and this is the coin dispenser. The coins are for the detergent, but I actually just recommend just going to Dyson and buying your own. It's cheaper. And for this, you need to tap a card. I mean, you need to get a card. In order to get a card, you just put a thousand won in and just press the red button, and the card will pop out. And to refill it, you just put it back in this area and you put more wand in and you just press the red button and then you get more wand into your card. Yeah. And to like use the washing machine, you just tap your card and then you press the button and then you press start. Pretty much it. Same, same thing goes with the dryer, but make sure you um take out the lint dispenser here and empty it out before you like, wash your clothes and after. And then you just press that button and press start. So for washing, it's a thousand won and for drying, it's a thousand won. I think it's pretty affordable. And then a iron. Yeah. We're back outside. Okay, so you're probably wondering like for your trash and stuff, you just go out to the left and you throw your trash from your room like your room trash you throw them out here and then you put the cardboard boxes and stuff in here and yeah and then there's like a little ledge area here where you can just chill but usually i don't see much people chilling here but it is a nice spot oh yeah i feel like most students don't know this as well but over here, there are stairs that actually lead up past like the hill area up there. So it's quicker to go to the bus because there is a bus up there um, to go to campus. But um, sometimes people just go around, which is longer way, but it's shorter if you guys take these stairs and go up. And yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to <laughs> the back here over there and try and go to that little garden area. Oh yeah, there's also these stairs that lead into CJ, I think. Not 100% sure. Because I don't have access to CJ and I've never gone into CJ before, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's for CJ. Oh my. <laughs> okay, the parking garage. I've actually never been over here. My whole time being here for like six months. Wonder where that leads to. I'll find out in a bit. Nice path. Oh look, there's little benches. Oh, interesting. Not sure what that says. Hmm. Oh, I think maybe it's like a little, probably a little garden, honestly. Look, my window. Okay, I'm checking out this area now.
if it just leads to like the CU. Oh no, it just leads to the other part. Okay, I'm going back up. And by other part, I mean that other the, the other dormitory. I'm th I think that's uh, the dormitory that's next to us. Interesting. I'm guessing the people there park in here, and then they just go down the stairs to go to their dorms. That makes sense. Me looking through the windows of CJ. And yeah, y'all, that's basically it. Gonna edit, go edit this video now. And word of advice, get your things from Daiso. Also, don't be like me and buy your own bed covers. Just rent it because <laughs> I just brought my own. And it was like pretty expensive, so just just rent, rent the bed sheets, and yeah. Bye.